still spying on me, Ryan. You know, for an ex-husband who wants absolutely nothing to I'm do not with me. I'm not here for you, Greenlee. Uh, and why are you here? I need to talk to you. Alone. So, what's on your mind? You and Greenlee, huh? Okay. Next topic. Hey, trust me. I could care less about her personal life. <laughs> Is that why you're still having a photo 24 hours a day? I'm having her follow 24 hours a day because I want to keep her away from my family. <laughs> See, I get you're protective of your family, Ryan. Especially Annie. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Well, she's, uh, she's been a bit off lately. You gonna level with me or what? Do you know where Annie was the night that I was mugged? Oh, you got You gotta be kidding me. No. I wish I was, but the evidence says that she might be the one that knocked me in the skull. Well, then your evidence is horrible. Is it? Because if you were 100% sure, you'd have told me with your fist, but I'm still standing. Which is still at the police station. Well, that would be in the property room, no doubt. Which is exactly where you come in, only we have to act very quickly because I'm sure his relatives are on the way to Pine Valley. Listen, I'll help you under one condition. Name it. You stop shadowing Greenlee, then I'm in. She almost killed my son yeah, right. twice. And she is sorry she's learned her lesson. You don't have to have her follow 24-7 and act like a big brother. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something as a friend, okay? If you let Greenlee too close, she will bring you more misery than you ever saw coming. Now, it's too late for me, but it's not too late for you, Aiden. It still stands. You stop having her followed, then I'm in. Well, then, if I'm not watching her, you are. And if she pulls anything, if she makes one move against my family or Kendall's family, it's on you. Now, you guys wouldn't be talking about me behind my back now, would you? <sighs> you got a deal. Where were we? We were supposed to be working. Oh, right. Working. What did Ryan want? Does he want you to handcuff yourself to me? You know what? Mm -hmm. That is not a bad idea. No, he was just talking about uh, Annie's supposedly crazy brother. What about him? There's a guy in the morgue. An ex-con that Ryan thinks is connected to this case. I have to go down to the police station. And I have to get my hands on this guy's stuff. Good luck with that. Well, you know me. I do like a challenge. You know, I could help you. No. No, no. No way. But Forget I, about it. I've done enough damage, and, and Kendall, she's already coming around and letting me work. And... It would be great if Ryan could come around just a little bit, and if I did this, he would see how much I want to make it up to them. It's not a good idea, Greenlee. Well, I am going to prove myself to them one way or another. I have to. Don't let me get desperate, Aiden. It's a recipe for disaster. Please. Please give me this chance. Hey, let me help you. Let me help Ryan. Let me do something good for once. If I let you help me, you have to promise that you'll do everything that I say. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. And, and now that you're my keeper, it'll be really easy for you to give me orders. You heard that? I did. And I also heard you make Ryan promise to stop having me watched, so thank you. So, where do we start, Captain? Any new orders, Mr. Labor? No change. Stay on her. And tap her phones. 